Uh, Assad is fighting ISIS and we're fighting Assad both. Why are we not talking about that? Really squeeze them in Syria. Squeeze uh, them in Syria. She wants full-on war. The and Russia's there? Okay, we'll fight them too. This coming to, uh, fucking warmonger. Volunteer for the Neoconservative money, bullshit. Uh, foreign weapons. So we have to make... How are you today? Oh yeah. We're live, folks. How are we doing today? Ready for this debate? Slightly less safe. Good evening from Hofstra University in Hempstead, New York. I'm Lester Holt, anchor of NBC Nightly News. I want to welcome you to the first presidential debate. The participants tonight are Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. And Frank Barish. New jobs, good jobs, with rising incomes. I want Ones us that to haven't been shipped out because of NAFTA. I want us to invest in your future. That yeah. means jobs in infrastructure, in advanced manufacturing, in innovation and technology, clean renewable energy, and small business. Then why do you support because fracking? Most of the jobs will come from small business. Oh, we clean also have energy. To this, make the the fracking woman. Fairer. One who spread it around the world. With raising the national minimum wage. Which you were against. Also guarantee its work. And not just financial transactions. Yeah, exactly. And the kind of plan that Donald has put forth would be trickle down economics all yep. over again. His, fact, his plans for the billionaires, the folks, whether you believe his populist bullshit for, or not. Uh, the top percent of the people in this country that we've ever had. I call it trumped up trickle down because that's exactly what Ooh, it would be. But she thought that of that one. That is not how we grow trumped up the trickle economy. Down. We just have a different view Hashtag up, about trickle down. what's best for growing the economy. How we make investments that will actually produce uh, jobs support and the TPP. rising incomes. Cancel NASA. I think we come at it from somewhat different perspectives. Yeah, we do. Uh, I understand. The NAFTA agreement. Because she supports the oligarchy. Because, of because the she supports the oligarchy. Many other reasons, but just because of the fact. Let me interrupt this a moment. Secretary Clinton and others, our economy generally, is, look, we owe 20 trillion dollars we cannot do because it of george longer. bush's Let's war and tax cut bring back specifically Mostly. bring back where we were eight years ago we had the worst financial crisis the great recession the worst since the 1930s that was set up by bill that clinton getting rid of glass steagall because of tax policies that slash taxes on the wealthy failed to invest in the middle class took their eyes off of wall street and created a perfect storm. Off Wall Street. In fact, Obama Donald was prosecuted one of the no one for the housing crisis. He said and you won't back either. in 2006, gee, I, I hope it does collapse because then I can go in and buy some and make some money. Well, it did collapse. That's called nine, business, but nine million <laughs> called business, lady. Nine million people lost their They're jobs. Sad. Five million people lost their homes and 13 trillion dollars in family wealth was wiped out. Because now, your husband got rid of the banking regulations which stopped that shit from happening for 80 years. Easy. So we're now on the precipice of having a potentially much better economy, but the less and would in some instances this tax disadvantage plan is crazy. middle class it's families all for the billionaires. compared to the wealthy were to go way. into effect. We would, some country is going to be the clean energy superpower of the 21st and that century. Should be about, if it was us. Donald thinks that climate change is a hoax perpetrated by the Chinese. I think it's real. And I you spread it around the world. I do not say that. And I think I it's important he does that, say that we Shut up, grip this and deal with it, both at home and abroad. And here's what we can do. We can deploy a half a billion more solar panels. We can have enough clean energy to power every home. We can build a new modern electric grid. That's a lot of jobs. That's a lot of new economic Great. activity. So I've tried to be very specific. Too bad we had to do that fracking thing first and, and destroy do. the whole and planet I am real quick. That and we're now going we're going to do get this. The economy really moving again, building on the progress we've made over the last eight years, but never going back to what got us in trouble in the first place. Mr. Trump, she invested in a solar company in our country. That was a disaster. They lost plenty of money on that one. That now look, he's, that's that's I propaganda. That company, there's a whole different story to that. Energy. <laughs> but we're That's Republican propaganda, son. Our energy policies are a disaster. You can't do what you're looking to do with 20 trillion in debt. The Obama administration. But he's going to make the debt worse. The time they've come in is over 230 years worth of debt. 
and he's topped it. He's doubled it in a course of almost because of the eight war years, and, a half and the tax cut that were put in place. So I will tell you this. And when you look at what much, you are how proposing, much my it is, Lester, as much? I said, He's trumped up, dick, trickle down. Trickle it's down did not work. Trickle it got us not work. into the meth patient, helping people refinance their tax, their, their debt from college at a lower rate. Those are the kinds of things that will really boost the economy. Canceling their debt, like we canceled the big companies' debt. growth is what we need in America, not the more advantages trillions. for people at the very top. Mr. Trump, and believe me, we're in a bubble right now. Yes, we are. And the only thing that looks good is the stock market. But if you raise interest yeah. rates even a little bit, that's going to come crashing down. Yep. We are in a big, fat, ugly bubble, and we better be awfully careful. And we have of course the it's going to crash again. That's, that's what they do. Political things. This Janet Yellen of the Fed. The Fed is doing political by keeping the interest rates at this level. And believe me, the day Obama goes off and he leaves and he goes out to the golf course for the rest of his life to play golf, when they raise interest rates, you're going to see some very bad things happen because the Fed is not doing their job. The Fed and is being more And the Fed. Or at the very least, audit the, the Fed. Clinton. Can we audit Mr. the Trump, Fed, please? We're talking about the burden that Americans have to pay. Yet you have not released your tax returns. Oh, and the reason nominees have, have released their returns for decades is that voters will know if they're potential to know that he's paid nothing in federal taxes because the only years that anybody's ever seen were a couple of years when he had to turn them over to state authorities when he was trying to get a casino license and they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. paid zero, that, that makes means me zero smart, for troops, proud of zero for your country, vets, son. zero for schools or health. And but said six hundred fifty. Switch back which, by to the say, way, a lot of friends. Release the, the emails. I'll say, release the taxes. Boy, that's really not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money relative to what yeah, I had. The buildings that were in question, they said in the same report, which was actually wasn't even a bad story to be honest with you. But the buildings are worth three point nine million. the Donald protesteth a bit much. And the six hundred and fifty isn't even on that. But it's not six hundred and fifty. It's much less than that. Look at but him I go. could give you a list of Just banks. Just tax returns, then, son. I'll give you a list of banks. He's a or throw it back on her and say, "Yeah, I'll release and you release." I could do that very quickly. Love I to see those thirty-three thousand deleted company, emails. Have a tremendous income, and the reason I say that is not in a braggadocious way. It's because it's about time that this country had some so far we talk about the military budget be because we about cutting it in half it's been doubled since 9-11 we're budget, wreaking havoc across the world we talk about that are we going to talk about you no we talk about you some more as to what to do and how to buy so we have to bring communities together in order to begin working on that you have to stop the drug war goal. that's how you stop the violence you stop the drug war out of the hands of people who should not have them the Gun epidemic Bigger than is this, the leading Hillary. cause of death of young African American men, more than the next nine causes put together. So we have to do two things. You walk down the street, you get shot. In Chicago, they've had thousands of shootings, thousands since January oh, 1st. Chicago's a war zone thousands of because shootings because of the war on drugs. And I'm saying, where is this? Is this a war torn country? What are we doing? Yes, it's a war torn country. It's literally a war torn country. We have to bring back law and order in a place like <coughs> Chicago. Can you to the police more? Thousands of people have been killed. Thousands over the last number of years. In fact, almost four thousand have been killed since Barack Obama became president. Over four, almost four thousand people in Chicago have been killed. Because of the drug war. Stop order. the damn drug now, war. whether or not in a place like Chicago, you do it. stop and frisk, which worked very oh, well. Stop and frisk. Yeah, let's go back to taking well the Constitution away from everybody. That'll help down. things. But you take the stop gun away the from drug war. Be having it. We have gangs roaming yes, the we street. do have gangs because of the drug war. Cases, they're illegally so there's some bad things going See on. Some really bad things. This is a bad thing. It's the drug war. Stop it. No. He's like, we're going to fight the drug war harder. After all these fucking because years, the really. The people that are most affected by what's happening are African American and Hispanic yes, people. Yes, that's why the and drug war exists. it's very unfair to them what our politicians... We have to say... We, we have to come forward with a plan that is going to divert the drug people war? from the criminal justice system. How about ending the drug war? That would do that. with mandatory minimum sentences. That would do that. put too many people away for too long for doing too little. 
We need to have more second chance programs. Well, you don't need a second chance if you get rid of the drug war. Ending private prisons in the Well, you don't need the private prisons if you get rid of the drug war. state system. You shouldn't have a profit motivation to fill prison cells with young Americans. So there are some positive ways we can work on this. And I believe strongly that common sense gun Common Safety sense, getting rid of the drug war. Assist us, right? Finally, need to pass a prohibition on anyone who's on the terrorist watch list from being able to buy a gun in our country. If you're Duh. too dangerous to fly, you are too dangerous to too buy dangerous a gun. To so there are things we can do, and we ought to do it well, in that's a bipartisan way. They can't even do that. You can't even get that do done in this polarized Congress. The, Commun- Look, the community within the inner cities has been so badly treated. They've been abused and used in order to get votes by Democrat politicians. No, they've been decimated by the drug war. We see a pattern here. Up to 100 years. Mr. Trump. Look, well, well, what's actually I, happening. I, I, the drug war is destroying you, our cities. You look at the inner cities. And, and I just left Detroit. And I just left Philadelphia. Rural areas. You know, you've seen everywhere. Been all over the place. Uh, we won't even talk about that neither. stay home, and that's okay. But I will failed to get the birth certificate. When I got involved... I didn't about the birth certificate still. I got him to give the birth certificate, so I'm satisfied with it, and I'll tell you why I'm satisfied with it. How much time are we going to spend talking about the previous president's birth certificate? Because really? I want to get on Can we talk about some issues here, please? I want to like get ending on the drug war. Can we talk about that? Stopping the TPP? Can we talk about that? No? And that are very important to the country. Yeah, so those are important to the country. To point, but I just want to get, get the answer here. The birth certificate was produced in 2011. You continued to tell the story and question the president's legitimate... I say nothing because I was able to get him to produce it. He should have produced it a long time before. We're still talking about the birth certificate here. Dear Lord. Assist birther lie to bed. We're still talking about the birth certificate. Dear Lord. He has... We only got 90 minutes here. Started his political you, activity. Your campaign started it on this before this lie that our first black president. You went with it, but you guys was started not it. An American citizen. You started it. There was absolutely no evidence for it, but he persisted. He persisted your year campaign after year planted it in 2007. Some of his to try to take Obama down. People that he was trying to bring into his fold apparently believed it or wanted to believe it. And D3 are under cyber attack and our secrets are being stolen. So my question is, who's behind it and how do we fight it? Secretary Clinton, this answer goes to you. The Russians. Well, I think cyber security, cyber warfare, will be one of the the biggest challenges facing the next president because clearly we're facing at this point uh, two different kinds of adversaries. There are the independent hacking groups that do it mostly for uh, commercial reasons to try to steal information that they then can use to make money. But increasingly, we are seeing cyber attacks coming from states, Uh, organs of states. The most recent and troubling of these has been Russia. There we go. There's no doubt now that Russia has used cyber attacks against all kinds of organizations in our country. I am deeply concerned about this. I know Russia the enemy. Donald's uh, really very don't. Praise, praiseworthy of uh, Vladimir Putin, but war. Putin is playing a really tough, long game here. And Putin is surrounded by NATO. Is to it's let moving loose, in on him. Uh, cyber attacks Liar. to hack into government uh, files, to hack now into personal to play files, the hack into to the Democratic Putin. National Committee. And we've recently uh, have learned that generals endorsed me to. Okay. Lead but that's country. a good old boys club right there. Uh, it just happened he was criminal. And I'm very proud of it. Uh, in addition, I His was military just buddies. Ice. That's going to be a scary bunch. On immigration. Uh, I was just endorsed by ICE. Can we talk about immigration? Are we going to get to that? Or is it almost over? Agents. So when uh, Secretary Clinton talks about this, I mean, I'll take the Admiral ISIS. So we have to get we very, talk about very them, tough please? on cyber and cyber warfare. Now, killing Gaddafi uh, and starting the war in Syria problem. created son, ISIS. He's 10 years old. Not to mention Iraq. Computers. He is so good with these computers, it's unbelievable. Can we talk about that? The security aspect no. of cyber is very, Almost out of time very here. tough. We're about and maybe it's... Uh, and so before they plan to defeat ISIS, <laughs> uh, it to does fight involve ISIS going after them online. I think we need to do much right. more. Uh, with our tech Fund companies every to end of a war. Uh, prevent ISIS and their operatives uh, from being able to use the internet to radicalize, even direct 
uh, people in our country and Europe and elsewhere. But we also have to intensify our air strikes against oh ISIS uh, it, she wants and war. eventually support our Arab and Kurdish uh, partners to be able to actually take out ISIS uh, in Raqqa and their you want claim ISIS to go, to, go away? We're Stop trying to overthrow Assad. The military is assisting Assad Iraq, is fighting ISIS, uh, and, and we're fighting we're both. That uh, Assad year, we'll is fighting ISIS and we're ISIS fighting both. Why are we not talking about that? Really squeeze them in Syria. Squeeze uh, them in Syria. She wants full on war. The and Russia's there? Okay, we'll fight them too. This to, fucking uh, warmonger. Volunteer for the Neoconservative money, bullshit. Uh, foreign weapons. So we have to make this the top priority. And I would also uh, make war the top priority. To That's what just happened right here. I was involved in a number of efforts to take out al-Qaeda leadership when I was Secretary of State, including, of course, taking out bin Laden. And I think we need to go after Baghdadi uh, as well, make we that one of our Baghdad. organizing principles, because we've got to defeat ISIS and we've got to do everything we can to disrupt their uh, propaganda How about stop funding ISIS? efforts online. Let's you stop funding ISIS. ISIS. Let's Certainly defeat them that way. Over there, but there are American Neoconservative bullshit. To commit acts of terror on American soil. The latest incident, of course, the bombing. If they left some troops behind. Or if we had never gone in there, or maybe something can you back it up to not having the Iraq war real quick? Or, as I've been saying for a long time, and I think you'll agree because I said it to you once, had we taken the oil, and we should have taken the oil, ISIS would not have been able to form either because the oil was their primary source of income. And now they have the oil all over the place, including the oil, a lot of the oil. The CIA Florida, is their primary source of income, of son. Secretary Clinton. Well, I hope the fact checkers are. Donald supported the invasion of Iraq. Wrong. That is absolutely. Why are we arguing whether he did? You voted again. for it. He actually advocated for. And then advocated took in Libya, Libya. And urged that uh, Gaddafi be taken out after. Let's talk about your vote, not his. Some business with him one time. You warmonger. But the larger point. Yeah, the larger point is that you're a warmonger. Constantly, is George. Need to ride me in, oh yeah, ride me in for president, oh yeah. The we need to catch more people to kill. Military alliance in the history of the That's world the to position. really turn our attention to terrorism. We're working more with our friends in the Middle East, many of which we're in 135 you know, countries are Muslim now. Nations. We've bombed seven. Donald has consistently you want more? insulted you Muslims abroad, Muslims at home. When we yes. need to be cooperating with Muslims, them, they should at least be paying us what they're or supposed to Or we could pay. just get rid of NATO because we're stopping the war. What if we just stop the war and, and don't need NATO? I said it very strongly. Yeah, can we try that, please? Because, and I was Instead very of this, and it was getting everyone to put more money into NATO, in let's just get rid of NATO. Let's do that. Because we're going to stop the war. Said, because you're going to write in Frank Barish, right? Because, I mean, what, and are you kidding me? Strong, and of course you're going to write in Frank Barish. What are you, talking about? Four months ago, I read on the front page of the Wall Street Journal that NATO is opening up a major terror division. And I think that's great. NATO is pushing Russia towards war. That's what NATO is doing. Surrounding NATO Russia and moving closer and closer. What do you think Russia is going to do? NATO. But I said they have to focus on terror also. And they're going to do that. Sean Hannity said very strongly... Most of us were against the war. Why are we arguing this? Let's argue why she... I was against the war. He watch said, more war. Can we talk about the Sean ones that she's of. done and wants to do? Instead of arguing about what he said on Howard and Stern? For the love of Christ? Also, not very much, because we should have never been there. But nobody calls Sean Hannity. And then they did an article in a major magazine shortly after the war started. Hashtag nobody called Sean I Hannity. Think in 04. But they did it. There's no doubt. He didn't but care to affect him. He really was like, yeah, I don't think it's a good Sean idea, but Hannity, I'm, this was I'm not like started. serving in Congress he and have a vote on the war. Can we talk about why she did that? And, and then why she didn't learn her fucking lesson from that? So she did it in exactly Libya. And then she did it in Syria. And now there are 10 million refugees around the world. Can we talk about that, please? Mrs. Well, I have much better judgment than she does. There's no question oh, about that. See, I also have why you need to write in Frank Barris. That right she there. Is. Like, they think I'm winners, I'm too. Everybody screen. thinks I'm a winner. Can we talk about more people who think I'm a winner? Secretary instead Clinton. of the real issues, real but quick? I was totally out of control. I said, there's a person with a temperament that's got a problem. Secretary Clinton. Oh, okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Good for her, though. Let's, um, let, let's uh, talk about two <laughs> important issues that were briefly mentioned by Donald. First, NATO. But it wasn't enough. So I spent a year and a and half you want putting to fight together Good. a coalition fight that, that included Syria Russia and China what could that to cost impose us? the toughest and blood and sanctions on Iran. Neoconservative and liar! We drive them to the negotiating table. And my successor, John Kerry, and President Obama got Aiken sailors who were on a nearby ship. He said, you know, if they taunted our sailors, I'd blow them out of the water and start another war. Yeah. That's that would not good judgment. That of course is it would start a war. Is he right stupid? To be commander in chief. To be They're both idiots, man. Taunted. Jesus. And the worst really? part no, of they what Kurt Donald really say has been about right nuclear in weapons. Barnes. He has said repeatedly that he didn't care if other nations got nuclear weapons. Japan, South Korea, even Saudi Arabia. So America, do you love me as much as I love you? I get it. Get it. I, because you're looking in my eye, man. You know, man? Like that, yeah. <laughs> I'm Frank Barris, and I want to be your president. But only if you write me in, oh yeah. If Donald Clinton becomes president, we're all screwed. Donald, the Donald part of it, he, uh, he'll start World War III by accident. He'll just stumble into that. Hillary, she'll start World War III on purpose. She said so. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff came out just the other day testifying to Congress, asking for more money, of course, for the war machine. But he said a no-fly zone over Syria, to get that, to make that happen, requires war with Russia. That's Hillary Clinton's position. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff just said that Hillary Clinton's position on Syria requires war with Russia. And they didn't ask that today at the debate, for the love of God. You're America. It's the most important thing that's ever happened to this planet. And corrupt people are ruining it. They're ruining it. And you're gonna vote for one of their candidates? Donald Clinton? Or are you going to write in Frank Barish on election day? You could, you know. And if you got all your friends to do it, and they got all their friends to do it, it would start spinning, right? Out of control, man. It would be the greatest thing that ever happened to this country. And you can do that. You just have to write me in on election day. You have to write in Frank Barish. Oh, these questions. Let's ask the real questions. Why did you support the war in Iraq? How did you not learn your lesson from that and then support the war in Libya? The illegal assassination of Muammar Gaddafi. Illegal. It's, I'm, I, I'm sorry if you think he was a bad guy, and a lot of people do. I don't judge people because I'm not a murderer. You brag about murdering a sitting head of state? But my bus, I gotta go, folks. I don't wanna miss my bus because this is the last bus. I could go on about Hillary Clinton's neoconservative bullshit till the cows come home. But I got a bus to catch because I'm a homeless guy. This is me, folks. So I hope you enjoyed the debate. Uh, there'll be more, apparently. Love of Christ. Love should be.